Watch this traffic light. When the light goes red for cars, it goes green for bicycles, but it goes green in every direction at the same time. There are dozens of junctions like this one in the Dutch city of Groningen. Urban cycling moves at a human scale at speeds that we evolve to deal with, so people cycling have time to react to one another. And because those people aren't trapped in giant metal cages, they're visible to other people cycling and can respond to body language and small changes in speed or direction to determine who goes first. This allows a huge number of people on bicycles to get through in a very short period of time, which makes these junctions work better for everyone. But it's even better to separate the routes for cycling and the routes for driving completely so that people cycling never need to stop for red lights, because ultimately, traffic lights are for cars, and without cars, you don't need traffic lights. <laughs>